What is up guys, Cars Across Texas here today and we just filled up the girlfriend's Chevy Sparkle, the Z06 down. This has been my ride if I haven't been able to find something cool for the weekend. Uh, but we're gonna go to HPC, we're gonna check on the vet. I'm gonna explain what is going on because the car has been gone for like a month and a half or something like that. I know a lot of you guys have been curious as well. I've been getting a lot of messages, comments, and all that stuff saying, where's the vet, where's the vet, where's the vet? I figured I'd answer all that today. But if you look in the back seat, we have a cool little box back here from AC, ACS Composites. They sponsored me on a little something I will unveil later. I'll unbox it real quick. Uh, once we get to HPC, then we'll talk about the vet. Uh, but we're going that way. We gotta pick up a wing for the Corvette. We're gonna get that Z07 little duck bill thing and uh, let's get to it. Alrighty, so we got the Z07 style wing for the car. Let's see if we can fit in the girlfriend's little Chevy Spark. <laughs> we already got another big box in the back. So big sh shout out to <laughs> JRAC06 on Instagram. We got his Z06 here in Arctic White. Looking mighty fine. He's the one that hooked it up on the Z07 wing. We got the Weapon X style wing back here. This looks crazy. It's like a ZR1 style wing. So he's been in a couple videos before. That sounds good. It cooks headers into a stock uh, axle back, right? What's that? It cooks headers into a stock axle back, right? Yeah, that's all stock in the back. Okay. That sounds good. Hooks all the way up to the front. This thing looks so cool. The full carbon fiber weapon X-wing. It's like that ZR1 style. That looks crazy. Uh, maybe in a, a little while I get a weapon X-wing for the car. Leave a, a comment below. Do you think I should get the big old wing like this? So we got the Z07 style wing that just came off of that beautiful white Z06 right there. And a little goodies from ACS Composites in the back. Now time to HPC. Alrighty boys, we have made it to HPC. I don't know why we have this man here, Mr. Sinclair Photos, in his Rocket Bunny Supercharged FRS that is for sale with the big ol' wing, but we're here. Time to check out the vet. We gotta drop off a couple packages to get added onto the vet, featuring uh, Squirtle, but let's get to it. Now I've seen all your comments, I've seen Drew, 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 where's the vet? I know I've seen them, uh, but here is the addressing of it. Let's get into HPC real quick. Let's see what's going on. What's up, dude? How are you? We're here to check out the vet. What are you doing, you fool? Uh, LS swap, LSX, you know, all the stuff twin turbo. Dude, I expect e nothing short of a 472 cubic inch big block. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer all your questions that Mr. Sinclair photos of you here might have uh, put in your mind, no, the car did not get repoed. It just hasn't been running. So basically what happened is uh, my slave cylinder did not like me making over 800 horsepower and it decided to uh, not work anymore. And that caused a couple more problems. And COVID, along with GM sucking, have made parts impossible to get for this car. But I do miss it a whole lot. It'll be back in action very so shortly with a little more power. So what we're actually doing with the car right now is it's getting a low side auxiliary pump along with dual nozzle meth lines so should make a little more power squeeze a little bit more power out of that lt4 uh, because the biggest thing with this car is fueling but here she is so she's here along with obviously because the slave cylinder issue you get a new clutch for the car as well but the biggest thing with this car has been finding a freaking wiring harness for it. My god. GM sucks, by the way. I don't... After this car... 
I don't know if I want to get another GM product because they have been impossible to source products from. But it's, it's a good hand. HBC is taking care of it. It's getting a little bit more love than what it was in here originally for. So all is well in the world of cards across Texas when I finally get my damn car back. If only GM would hurry. They're working on some pretty cool stuff out here at HPC though. We got this old school, looks to be like a 69 Camaro. Some forge lines. It's pretty cool. Looks like it might be getting some paint love here pretty soon. A little Mustang over here with a, what in the world do I see? Brother, Vortec blower on this old uh, New Edge. That's pretty wild. And of course the beautiful, beautiful C7 ZR1 raised up high. I think this car's getting a ported blower, so that'll be pretty nasty once it's all said and done. So this is why I come to HPC for the pizza. <laughs> One more box to go. We got the ACS Composites little thing here. Let's get that unboxed real quick. Mr. Sinclair is leaving, it looks like. Leaving so soon. Jordan whipping the FRS? You whipping the FRS? I guess so. Nice. Should street race the BM dub yeah. versus the FRS. I got 50 on the BM dub. <laughs> oh, okay. Put anything inside? No, no. no. <laughs> the little rod guards, right? Yeah, they basically go on the back of the quarter panel. They keep uh, mud from getting on the quarter panel. Ooh. Yeah. So they already have these on the front, I think. Hmm. Oh. Well, there we go. ACS Composite sent me these little. Mud guard thingies already in carbon flash. So one last look at the car real quick. It is here and it is getting worked on. Fear not my friends. It's a couple more weeks and it should be back, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks for 200,000 subscribers we'll get a new car to go along with the Z06. Um, but long story short, COVID sucks, GM sucks, and uh, yeah, taking a little while to get parts because GM is terrible. It'll be back soon though. Alrighty guys, so uh, we are about to roll out from HPC. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. A little quick update on the Corvette, along with a couple other things around the shop. I'm excited to get this thing back, man. It has been a month and a half or so now, and uh, probably a couple more weeks, just depending on how quickly GM can get the wiring harness to us. But we'll see. I'm really not 100% sure what is going on with that. Um, Ellie sends me updates as he gets them, but GM sucks and they don't communicate that well. Time to head up back out. I don't really know what else is on the agenda for today. But hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for uh, all the concern about the Corvette. I do appreciate it. It means a lot to see y'all are worried about me. Uh, but it'll be back. It'll be better than ever with probably an extra 50 horsepower or so when I get it back. I'll see you in the next video, though, guys. Peace.